Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters. We are just weeks away from Rhode Island's gubernatorial primary. And tonight, the front runners in the governor's race are facing criticism for not committing to multiple debates before primary day. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live from the mobile newsroom with what she's learned. Kate? Well, voters have just over a month now to determine who they want to vote for in the state's gubernatorial primary, and the debate over debates is really heating up now. His inability to answer questions. A serious claim from Republican House Speaker Patricia Morgan to her Republican opponent for governor. Why is Alan Fung hiding? Because he's afraid of the voters. That claim in response to Cranston Mayor Alan Fung's campaign announcing he'll participate in one primary debate on the John DePietro radio show in Woonsocket. I'm more than happy to do that, but it's not enough. It's absolutely not enough. And I demand that he have a debate on each one of your networks, on PRO and on NPR. Fung previously agreed to a television debate when he was on our program, Newsmakers, back in April. His campaign now silent on all other invitations to debate before the September 12th primary. Morgan called it a disservice to you, the voter. We've always had debates in Rhode Island. They have allowed people to see us. On the Democratic side, so far, Governor Gina Raimondo has declined our request for a primary debate, despite requests from her opponent, Matt Brown, to have one. And also in this primary race is Democrat Spencer Dickinson and Republican Giovanni Ferrosi. Live in Providence tonight, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.